The ten slokas go from Narada to Vyas. Like mantram, it's like mantram. Narada gave, told in seed form within those ten slokas that everything, and then told him, you meditate on this and it will all come out. So it's through, med- then Vyas, he meditates on the banks of the Saraswati there. Then this divine inspiration comes to him. And remember, th- and that slogan says, Ahang Vedmi Sukha Veti Vyasa Veti Na Veti Va Vyas may know or may not know. So he's also an instrument. And Mahaprabhu, that sloka comes from Mahaprabhu telling Sanatana Goswami that what's passing through me, I may not be fully aware of that. But what I'm certain of is Krishna wants to grace you through me. That much I'm 100% certain of. But what's passing through me, I don't claim to understand all of that fully. It's infinite. And he says, even one letter, one word of the Bhagavatam is infinite. Because Sanatana was praising him, having given the 60 first explanation. No, 60. It gave him 60 explanations of Ratma Rama Sloka at that point. Then Sanatan saying, this is divine, you're God himself, and Mahaprabhu said, oh no. Saying, it's your necessity that's drawing this through me. And then he gave the 61st explanation. So we can see also, Vyas has some necessity. He's feeling some despondency. Despite having given Mahabharata, compiling all these Vedic literatures, something and there's a disturbance in his heart. Narada comes and says, I know why. Because even though you've presented Krishna conception in different places, you, and it, although it was not your intention, inadvertently people could interpret that uh, in a mundane way, with some mundane color. And in the name of religion, they'll remain bound. That's the difficulty. It will be religion which keeps people. What should liberate people? That, that'll be the very thing that keeps people bound to the world. And they'll be quoting your name to, uh, as the sanctioner. Why is it bound? Because, uh, as told, inadvertently gave people the idea that you can perform some religious activities, ritualistic activities, etc., and be happy in this world. What will be the need to uh, immigrate to the upper world if everything you could possibly want can be achieved here through regulating yourselves according to scriptures? That's why at the heart of the Bhagavatam, he's saying, you know, Tadeva, Hyachuta Priya, Achuta Priya, and Swarupena Vivasiti. Think, you've not given them the impression or the understanding that the Swarup, and we're back to the original question, the form, you have a form in the spiritual world where the actual type of loving relationships you seek loving exchange can be fully, properly realized. 